Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm The Hooded Lid and I am continuing on with things I got on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, that whole week where a lot of companies had things on sale. And Chantecai was something I wanted to explore because they're a pricier brand. I already have in Chantecai their foundation that comes in a jar. I think it's called The Futurist. And I have a blush called Joy, which I really love, but I took it upstairs because I was using it too often and I wanted to use some other things. And I have a lipstick, which I bought in the store because the salesperson was saying, it's so good on you. And I'm thinking, really? I, I feel like it makes me look dead. No, no, it's great. And it does make me look dead. And I know this for a fact because I did another video on Shot to Kai where I put it on and I said, I think this makes me look dead. And people responded, I've seen better on you. So I wanted to explore some other things and I got three products. Now this is, I believe, new. So there is a series of these, I think it's called Luminous Eyeshadow. And there's a couple of newer releases and I think this is one of them. It's a little confusing. It doesn't say new by it, but I think it is. And this is Zebra, and this is supposed to be rose gold. I also got, I love this purple packaging, by the way. Mm. And this is called Liquid Lumiere, and it comes in a little tube. I did want to play with this. I saw it in a store, don't tell anybody. And then I wanted to get this because the packaging is so pretty. See how, see, 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 see how the screen's getting dark when I flash it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm still on the mirror thing, you guys. And this is a balm powder. It comes in a pouch, which is really pretty. And this is what it looks like. And there's a C on it. And it's an unusual texture. So let's first try this thing. I want to swatch it for you and I want to compare it to my favorite which is the Charlotte Tilbury. Hello! <laughs> okay! Now let's get the Charlotte. This is the perfect one for me. It just suits my skin tone so well and I just feel that it's fresh and beautiful and I just love it. And I've never found anything I like as much. This is the Charlotte. Aha, that's so interesting. So in comparison to me, there's a bit of a gray tone in here. The shine is the same. So I just use a very little amount and I imagine I will get the same effect. But the shine seems very similar. But to me, there's a bit of a grayness going on with this. I'm just gonna move it around so you can see what it looks like when it's shining and when it's not shining and there's a little bit of a pink nature. So that's interesting. Let's, there is, when I look at it flat like this, there is a pink nature. Let's put some on. I still have my 10X. But yeah, it's going back. I need to find a 5X, you guys. And if you want to help me with the hunt, you are most welcome to. This is what I need. one-sided 5x I don't have to have a light that's pretty I just want to go around it's pretty it's it's strong it's not quite a natural skin tone for me I like to put some in the center of the nose and I like to put some between the eyes and let's get the other side yeah, it's so hard to see what you're doing with this because it makes everything too big. Hmm. Okay, I am unsure. Hmm. But there it is. It, it's a beautiful shine. And I think you can dull it down a little bit. Just, you know, keep on working it with your fingers and it looks more... Uh, I mean, on the computer, it looks really strong. It's a beautiful shine, for sure. Okay, let's go into the eyes next. All right, let's go in with Zebra. And this is what she looks like. When I got this last night, I thought it looks coppery to me. Let's just see it right there. It looks a little coppery. Hmm. 
and swatch it. I kind of hate to because the imprint on this is beautiful. This is what it's like on the finger. Really shiny. And there she is on the hand. And on me, it's, it's you know, kind of almost skin tone-ish. But it's pretty close to copper to me. And let's just put it on the lids and see what happens. I am primed, foundationed, eyebrows. I think I went a little hay with this one. Let me know. And I did prime and powder my lids, but look at that. It's creasing a little bit. Let's... go. Hmm. I'm going to buff it a little bit to Mariah, I forget her last name, I always want to say Carrie. Mariah Leonard says if you buff things that are shiny, you can bring out the pearl in them. So let's just try to do that. I don't know if that's always the case. And just go in a lighter hand. So I'm turning my finger over so the area, so the color is here, pat, 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 pat. And then when I'm getting here, I'm turning the finger over to kind of haze it out a little bit. It's perfectly lovely. It's perfectly lovely. I do think you could probably get stuff like this at the drugstore. It's not the most uncommon formula in the world. And certainly, if not the drugstore, certainly. Ulta for less, but it's pretty, and you're helping to save zebras, and I mean, aren't zebras beautiful? So there's enough color in here to help give my eyes a little bit of shape to show, yes, I have eyeballs and I'm not all hood, but I mean, it is a one and done. This is what it looks like. We will put on mascara and that will help make it look more finished, but I'm thinking, I don't know if it's really all that special. Honestly, it's awfully cute. So let's go into this powder. This powder feels so weird. I'm not really sure what to make of it. And let's go in. I mean, it feels, it does feel like a balm. It's so strange. And there is a lightness to it, so I don't think this can work for every skin tone. But it does appear to be matte. I don't think there's any shimmer in here at all. So I thought we'd go in with my Rwengas and see what happens. I'm just not sure how to use it. Oh! Tons came up. I did not go in hard. That's interesting. And let's just... Uh-huh. You see the lightness that it's just imparted on the skin. Honestly, this feels really nice. I've already powdered my under eyes, but let's do a little more. I wonder if this would be more moisturizing to use this under your eyes than a typical powder. I see such a difference. I see such a difference from this eye to this eye. I mean, there's still darkness going on here, make no mistake, but I, I did see an immediate difference. Now, maybe, okay, that difference went away. Let's do a little more. I've been watching Michelle Wong since before she had 10,000 people, because I remember her doing a video where she said, oh, you guys, 10,000, thanks so much. And she really enjoys Chantecaille. And it seems to me that every holiday, Chantecaille comes out with a powder with an insanely beautiful compact. And um, I haven't seen one this year, but maybe it'll be coming. Or maybe this is it. This could be it. I'm just kind of using this as you would use a highlighter, you know, imparting a little bit of lightness. I really like this. I'm so surprised, you guys, because I was thinking this might be going back. 
when I swatched it after I got it last night, I thought, this is strange. This is really weird, but this is great. There's something about this. Let's see how it looks in my 4X. It kind of blurs out your pores. Hold the phone. Hmm. I should have showed you what they look like before. And when I edit, if I have a, the right moment where I can do that, I will show you a little bit. But the pores look blurred. <laughs> this is such a cool, cool powder. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this, but I know, I think YSL has something like this, but I thought it was just a full-on balm. But now I'm kind of curious. And I haven't seen it in store in a very long time, but you know, the closest Sephora to me is a small one. Um, so they might have it in the larger stores, but this compact is just beautiful. This bag is so, so pretty. I mean, I get it. You would put it in your purse. You don't want to scratch this, but you definitely, you know, you would need a puff or something for this to go in your purse. And even this box. I'm keeping this box. You know what? Let me just go in the other room and check this highlight in different light. I'll be right back. I'm back. And yes, there is a little bit of a grayish tone to this highlighter. It's the strangest thing. I'm not really sure why you would want to do that. Now I am light medium and I have listed my foundation colors below. Uh, I've listed two for Bite and two for my Reboot, but it's the Y315 I use in the Reboot, but today I am wearing, I'm mixing two Rare Beauties. I'm mixing 170W with 220C. So that's kind of my color way. I consider myself to be kind of neutral and I just don't understand why I'm seeing a little bit of a grayish nature to this and how that might be... I don't get it. Let's put on some mascara because I told you we would do a finished look so you can get a whole idea. I'll be back in a snap. All right, I'm back. I just put a little bit of mascara on and a little bit of a lip. And so here are my conclusions. This is really pretty, but do I think I have things similar to this? I absolutely do. Do I think you could get things similar to this that are a little less expensive? Yes. Would the packaging be as pretty? No. And would the product itself be as pretty? Look at that embossing. No, it wouldn't be. So if that's something that's very important to you and you were helping to save zebras, then yeah. But for me, other ways to go. The highlighter has a lot of shine and you might want to look at some other colors. The color I have is upside down. Let's see if I can read it without my glasses. Nope. I guess it's possible the color is sheen because it says sheen here and it says sheen here. I just didn't think sheen would be the color. I thought that was kind of describing what it is. So um, the color is a little odd. I, I, it's a little grayish to me. I, I will say that it, it works in the same way as the Charlotte Tilbury and dries the same way, applies the same way kind of a similar thing, but I happen to be one of the only people on the planet who likes this applicator. I do. Um, but the color is a little bit strange. And I think this stripe indicates what the color is. It's not wrong. It's Actually, it's pretty accurate, that stripe. And finally, the powder, which it's in its little pouch. Look how freaking pretty. I love this powder. Now, it doesn't mattify you because I'm already shining again right here. Let's see what the pores are looking like. The pores are mattified. That is crazy. Yeah. Of these three products, the product that I would recommend to you is this powder. I mean, of course, it depends on what your skin concerns are. 
but I just feel like this color isn't so great on me. This color isn't so unusual that you couldn't find it somewhere else, but I personally have never seen anything like this. It's beautiful, and the packaging is beautiful. So if I had it to do over again, knowing what I know now, this is the product that I would buy. It's so, so special. Love, love. And that is going to do it for today's video and Shantakai. I also ordered some things from Surat. I don't know when it's going to get here. And I think I have a couple of other orders outstanding. I, I honestly don't remember anymore. I didn't buy a whole lot because we had just finished the big Sephora sale. And people had, companies had just released some new things, which I already got. So there wasn't a lot for me to get. And my lovely little doggy peed on my bed. I don't understand why. I, she usually communicates to me that she has to go to the bathroom. We, so we have a thing. My bed is quite high, so I have to pick her up to put her in the bed. If she has to go to the bathroom, she'll signify that to me. Like when I go to pick her up, she'll turn around and go back towards the stairs. So I'll go downstairs and open the door for her. But she didn't do that that particular night. So I picked her up, put her in the bed, finished brushing my teeth, turned around, pulled back the covers. I'm like, why are my hands wet? I thought I'd just dried my hands. Because she peed. She got the coverlet, the duvet cover, the comforter, the sheets, and my feather bed peed on. And my feather bed is quite old and my comforter, all the feathers were at the side of the bed because I've had it for so long, it, the feathers just didn't stay in place. And the same kind of thing with the feather bed, except for all the feathers are at the top and at the bottom. So I thought, you know what? It is sale time. Maybe I can find a sale on this. And I went to the company store and I got one of the items on sale. It wasn't a great sale. I think it was 15 or 20 percent off, but I got a new feather bed and a new comforter and that wasn't cheap. So I feel like, yes, I did some shopping, but it wasn't all about makeup. I also got a Nua, which should be here soon, but that wasn't much of a sale either. And I just got some other things besides makeup. So yeah, I think we just have maybe two new things coming in very soon. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I hope this was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and be smart. And I'm wishing you good health.